we have a slight problem today. Not a huge problem, just, just a slight tiny little, okay, it's a bit of a problem. I was looking around the hotel, I was sort of getting ready to start packing up and organizing things for when we leave, and I'm looking for the vans that I bought. You remember those really cool limited uh, New York Mets vans? Uh, I can't find them anywhere at all. I have my Jordan 1s here. Partap has his shoes over there. Can you find them anywhere? Nope. I'm freaking out. One of two things happened. Either the maids stole them, I really hope, like, why would you be dumb enough to steal an $80 pair of Vans you could go buy yourself? Or what I think is more likely to have happened, which sucks even more, is that I put them right next to the garbage can. Here is the garbage can with our healthy breakfast inside, and I had the bag sitting right here two days ago, 100% it was here two days ago, right by the garbage can. End of the day, Visa's probably going to recoup my money. I'm gonna to complain to the hotel, tell them what happened, and they'll probably give me some sort of discount. I'm probably gonna end up getting back more than the $80 that I spent on the vans. But how do you throw out vans? Partap is doing one of the strangest things I've ever heard of in my life today. Why are you doing this? Taking advantage of the policy that's in place. Nike has a policy where like you can wear shoes for up to 30 days. Like you could beat up shoes for up to 30 days and still return them. And he bought these ACGs that we took a look at a couple days ago and they got soaked in the rain yesterday. You're seriously returning shoes that got soaked in the rain yesterday just because yes. they got soaked in the rain yesterday? Yes. Once a shoe is wet, it doesn't hold the form, I'm telling you guys. So you're returning them? Yes. And then we're going to another store? Yes. And you're buying the exact same pair of shoes again just because they got super soaked yesterday? Yes, precisely. This makes absolutely zero sense to me, but I mean, hey, it's in the, it's in the return policy, so. But they're gonna get wet again. The new ones, you're gonna, like, it's going to rain again and they're going to get wet. Yeah, but now if I can get new ones now, then they're less bad, you know what I'm saying? Makes sense. Oh, I completely forgot the Nike Times Sakai blazer waffle things, the white and gray one. Those released today, like, right across the street at Nike Lab. There's so many people just, like, sitting here and waiting. I think they had, like, a sneakers pass on them or something. I didn't get them, point being. But there's a bunch of people here that either want to get them, or are trying to get them, or have already got them. I still don't understand why Par is returning these shoes. You got them? Great. This Success. is the dumbest thing you've ever, oh. this is the dumbest thing you've ever done. It's the experience, man. I mean, great, you have the exact same pair of shoes that you had 45 minutes ago. Yeah, but now they're brand new, and the experience. <sighs> so the reason I got these, first of all, I got them from Kith, so obviously it makes me way cooler. Secondly, check these babies out. Tom, touch these. Touch these right here. Okay. They're not wet. The other ones are straight wet. Yo, they got soaked in the rainstorm the other day. You probably heard about it. It's like a hurricane or something, right? So these are obviously way better because they're not wet. Brand new. I mean, they're untied, but like brand or new than the other ones, right? And Kith, right? Am I right? Look at that. Way better. <laughs> into a random Foot Locker on Broadway really quick. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you about these because I haven't seen them yet, the Camo Jordan 10s. It's like a ripstop nylon canvas. I'm not a huge fan of Jordan 10s to begin with. Like, I'd buy the Jordan 10 Steels, and that's pretty much it. That's the only Jordan 10 I'd be interested in picking up. Uh, these aren't really my thing. I mean, if you like Camo and you want to pick these up, they're, they're all right, but I mean, not really my thing. So I'm gonna pass on these. They're clearly sitting in almost every single store. But it's not a bad shoe. It's a pretty cool colorway if you're into camo. Just a little too loud for me. Just walked past Mike Dunleavy. And we were just like walking into Nike. And he was walking out of Nike with like his family and kids. Like NBA player, I mean former NBA player, Mike Dunleavy Jr. Doesn't like, he coach somewhere now? I don't know, I was like, who is this tall human being? And it was like, I know this guy. <laughs> of all the people you expect to see in Soho, Mike Dunleavy Jr. Probably one of the last people. Mike Dunleavy. Oh, that's the best thing that's ever happened to me. There's not even really a reason why I wanted to walk into Nike. It's just like, hey, we're here. Let's go into Nike. And we see freaking Mike Dunleavy Jr., who's also assistant GM of the Golden State Warriors now. 
What? Like a normal, he looked like a normal guy, but he was like huge, and I was like, I've seen this guy before. I don't know, man. Like, it was like so weird. And then I was like, why is nobody saying anything to this guy? Like, is he actually him? And I was like, yeah, it is him. So I actually just got informed that there's a brand new consignment store around here in Soho, which I didn't know about. It's right where Supreme used to be on Lafayette. It's called Soul Stage, and I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that it's affiliated with the Soul Stage that's on Melrose in Los Angeles. You were there like a month ago, right? Yes. Did you buy shoes from there? No, but I went in there. It was pretty good. I've been to Soul Stage before. I haven't been to Soul Stage in New York. I mean, I literally didn't know it existed 45 minutes ago. I have no expectations. I'm just gonna walk in. See what we got here. First things I'm seeing in here, by the way, this store is amazing. So I 100% give this a yes, I would check this out recommendation. They have the uh, New York to Paris, which I got on feet right now, but then they also have these guys right here, the LA to Chicago's, which is something I still need to pick up. These things are amazing. I stripped the paint off the New York to Paris. As you guys know, if you saw that video, I wouldn't do it on these. I would wear these naturally, let the paint chip off naturally. I think that would look so cool. I think that would be a great shoe to just, you know, wear solid for six months like I do with a lot of my other shoes and gradually have it change colorways. So that's something I really need to pick up. Ooh, we got some classic LeBrons. We got the corks. Those are, this was such an amazing shoe when they released it. It was one of the coolest things they had ever done. They put cork on a basketball shoe. Nike basketball used to do such cool things like these, the Big Bang Nines. They used to do such cool things, the South Beaches as well. And it's just sort of fallen off. People aren't interested in Nike basketball like that anymore, which is honestly a little bit unfortunate. Got a whole bunch of classic Jordans back here. I mean, not, not classic classic, but I'm talking like 2012 range, which is when I really started getting into them. We have like all the Jordan ones. We have Travis Scott's, we have Off-White. I really, really, really need to get a pair of the Off-White white ears. European exclusives. They have like a size 72 million. Look, look at the size of this. this is my face. This is the shoe. Shaq couldn't even fit in these. They'd be too big. Oh, and lots of you guys were asking about my Travis Scott ones and if I ever got them in. Yes, I did get them in. I got them in about a month ago. So maybe I'll do like a little review, but I mean, everyone's seen them already. There's no point of, of really still showing them. Okay, that was Soul Sage. Soul Stage. Shoal stage. I give it like an 8 out of 10. It was a pretty good store. I definitely go back there. The prices were actually, I mean, as far as Soho goes, they were they were all right. They're pretty good. Okay, next stop, sneaker fleet. What's up, Joe? How you doing? Oh my goodness, we showed up here too late. Apparently, like half an hour ago, some idiot kid tried to rob the store and they had like metal wires connecting all the clothing and they just grabbed one hoodie and tried to yank it off and run and they pulled over all the clothing racks and fell over and the clothing fell on top. That would have been the most funny thing ever to see. That would have been the best thing ever to see. I don't know who those kids were, but they seem very nice. Everyone's out here getting their stuff stolen. Me, Joe almost, thankfully not Joe. Dude, I really like those vans. You know who's not getting their stuff stolen? Me, because I'm smart. I keep it locked up, bro. Editing Tom here. Uh, at this point of the day, we got invited to some business meeting, uh, talking to a prospective clothing brand that's launching that wants to do some work and was looking for some input on how to market their stuff. And it was at this really swanky club where they didn't even allow cameras. Like you could not even take in a camera. So as a result, I didn't take in the camera, but the food was amazing. I honestly had no idea what I was walking into. I just knew I was going to some sort of business meeting and it was at some fancy club. So I was a little, little bit confused and a little bit unsure of what to expect. Business meeting went well. Uh, we talked about business and we met and I had a very, very good chocolate cake. It was at some fancy private club called the Soho House that I definitely can't afford to eat at regularly. I, I don't understand the, the, the appeal of $85 dinners on a regular, even if you have the money. Two 
guys just stopped us on the street. They seemed very nice and they told us they're music artists. And then they asked what our names are and Partap said his name was Partap. And the guy was like, part time? And yeah. Par was just like, yeah. Good enough. So your new nickname is part time now. I don't know. It's what that, I'm but... trying to say. <laughs> Probably never gonna meet these guys again, so it's fine. If you're still watching at this point in the video, comment part time down in the comment section below.